Hi there, welcome to Wanderlust channel. In our Yellowstone tour we started from the north entrance. In the morning we wake up to an amazing view, the grasslands and mountains in Montana. To cover the Yellowstone National Park we have to travel through two loops of road, upper loop and lower loop. We entered to the park through Roosevelt Arch, which is constructed in 1903. After a 8km ride we will first reach the Mammoth Hot Springs in Minerva Terrace. First we will see Liberty Cap which rise 37 feet in the air. Mammoth Hot Springs has two terrace boardwalks, the upper and lower. Approximately 50 hot springs lie within the area. On the east flank of Terrace Mountain, Mammoth Hot Springs is one of the world's finest examples of thermal springs that deposit travertine. In the Mammoth area, the hot acidic solution dissolves large quantities of limestone on its way up through the rock layers to the hot springs on the surface. Above ground and exposed to the air, some of the carbon dioxide escapes from the solution. Without it, the dissolved limestone can't remain in the solution, so it reforms into a solid mineral. This white, chalky mineral is deposited as the travertine, that forms the terraces. Travertine formations grow much more rapidly than sinter formations due to the softer nature of limestone. As hot water rises through limestone, large quantities of rock are dissolved by the hot water, and a white chalky mineral is deposited on the surface. Some 60 hot springs pepper the area at temperatures of between 17 degrees and 73 degrees Celsius, and their scalding waters dissolve calcium carbonate in the surrounding limestone forming a series of constantly evolving travertine steps. This is White Elephant Back Terrace, a fissure ride through this part of the upper terrace of Mammoth Hot Springs allows hot water saturated with calcium carbonate to reach the surface. The calcium carbonate precipitates out of the water to form a terrace along the entire length of the fissure. The upper terraces include Prospect Terrace, New Highland Terrace, Orange Spring Mound, Bat Lake, White Elephant Back Terrace and Angel Terrace. This is Angel Terrace which has recently reawoken and has periods of dramatic hot spring activity with large volumes of water cascading down the thermophile draped terraces. Now we are in Golden Gate Canyon. A road was first built through the Golden Gate in 1885, replacing a steep difficult road over Snow Pass. Glen Creek flows north through the canyon en route to the Gardner River. This waterfalls is named as Rustic Falls. The Sheep Eater Cliffs are a series of exposed cliffs made up of columnar basalt. The lava was deposited about 500,000 years ago during one of the periodic basaltic floods in Yellowstone Caldera, and later exposed by the Gardner River. Clearwater Springs is a small thermal area nestled in a small but pretty valley. Next is Roaring Mountain which was named for the numerous fumaroles on the western slope of the peak which during the early 1900s, were loud enough to be heard for several miles. Roaring Mountain is 8 km north of Norris Geyser Basin and south of Obsidian Cliff, and is easily seen from park roads. This is Bidges Spring which is a hot spring in Bidges Spring Thermal Area. The Norris Geyser Basin is famous for being the oldest, hottest, and most active of the hydrothermal areas in Yellowstone.
The basin encompasses two main areas that are open to visitors and accessible via loop trails. Porcelain Basin is a bleak and treeless lunar-like setting steeped in the pungent aroma of the bubbling geysers that surround the 1.2-kilometer trail. Hurricane Vent is a pool of cloudy grayish water in a deep crater. Basin Geyser has been reduced to a boiling pool. The area has been quiet long enough for wildflowers to grow around it. Emerald Spring is a hot spring located in Norris Geyser Basin. Emerald Spring is 27 feet deep. The water temperature in the spring is around 83 degrees centigrade. The spring gets its name from the emerald green color of the water created by sunlight filtering through the water, giving the light a blue color, and reflecting off the yellow sulfur creating the green hue. Porcelain Springs constantly changes. It may be full of water from new springs or geysers, or it could be dry and quiet. Patches of brilliant blue are salts containing sulfur, arsenic, and boron. The Norris Geyser Basin consists of three main areas, Porcelain Basin, Back Basin, and 100 Springs Plain. Unlike most of other geyser basins in the park, the waters from Norris are acidic rather than alkaline. The difference in pH allows for a different class of bacterial thermophiles to live at Norris, creating different color patterns in and around the Norris Basin waters. Norris Geyser Basin periodically undergoes a large-scale, basin-wide thermal disturbance lasting a few weeks. Water levels fluctuate, and temperatures, pH, colors, and eruptive patterns change throughout the basin. This is Congress Pool, sometimes it appears pale blue in color. Due to the variable nature of Norris features, it is possible to see the same pool looking muddy and boiling violently as you see it now. Back Basin is a wooded area with geothermal features scattered along a 2.4-kilometer boardwalk trail. The most well-known features in this basin are the Echinus Geyser, the largest known acid water geyser, with a pH close to that of vinegar, and the Steamboat Geyser, the tallest active geyser in the world, which erupts irregularly, shooting water up to a height of 300 feet. Steamboat's major eruptions generally last from 3 to 40 minutes and are followed by powerful jets of steam. During these eruptions, water may be thrown more than 300 feet into the air. Steamboat does not erupt on a predictable schedule, with recorded intervals between major eruptions ranging from 3 days to 50 years. We waited for some time to see the big eruption, but we had to continue by seeing small ones. Cistern Spring and Steamboat Geyser are linked underground. During a major eruption of Steamboat, the water in Cistern Springs pool drains. This is Virginia Cascades, on the Gibbon River. Virginia Cascades is located just south of the Norris Canyon Road approximately 4 kilometers east of Norris Junction. Mount Washburn is a spectacular peak in Yellowstone National Park. It rises to an impressive 10,243 feet and is the main mountain of the Washburn Range. Various hikes lead up its flanks and offer breathtaking views of the park, including the Mount Washburn Trail, considered one of Yellowstone's best hikes. We also went to hike for some distance and came back because of our time limit. We can see many wild animals on the journey. Bison is main attraction. We had a glimpse of bear but did not get a good sight. Our next stop is Tower Falls which we will cover in the next video. Stay tuned for more waterfalls and hot springs. Thank you for watching the video, please hit like button, if you like the video, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Thank you. See you in the next.